normal, something like that, that lets you talk to everyone anytime you want. And then let's see, we went to HR. They stole our money back. I was pretty sad. Um, stole I think quotation Jason, marks. Yeah, they stole the money from us. It was pretty rude, but I got some hot chocolate out of it. So I'm just going to assume I paid for extra. But then after that, we went and, oh, we went to Ralfo's Weros, where the demon sells really cool stuff. Uh, we all got pasta passes. We got a spa. We got some sort of building workshop. And we went and used our passes at this tavern where we got to meet Noxius, this nice little skeleton man who's in charge of a dungeon that has the lunar blade. And after that, we found out that Jace got his puppy where the souls were taken away, so it burst into flames. And that's where his puppy is. Its soul is stolen now. So now we're on our way over with a strange dagger that likes to suck up blood over to some bell tower school. And we're going to enroll. Okay. Yeah, sounds good. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to correct anything in there. So you guys can figure it out as you go. <laughs> Everything's right, 100%. <laughs> um, so yeah, I guess you guys left off being in the tavern. Is that right? No, we were left off where the farmer was giving us the dagger yeah, we, and he was we crying. we went to Dan. Okay, right, yeah, you're on uh, Horace's brother's farm. Where your nephew Dan is at, and he was crying. <laughs> my Screw my you, Dan. my platinum and my dogs, they're all gone. Good. Ah. What did you get for selling puppy souls? I want I want to use a fate point to make him feel neutral about it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Good. About which part, the platinum or the dogs? Uh, about I mean, just the the whole situation. He's like, eh. Oh, okay. What happened? Okay. Um, eh, you know, life, uh, I guess we should give Dan a voice. Eh, hey, you know, life comes along and then you lose some dogs and you lose some gold. You know, what are you going to do? At least I got this farm. No, I Horace just doesn't like you do more. well with crying. Yeah, I don't, I'm not a big crier, you know. You were just crying. No, I wasn't. Yeah, you were. You cried like a bitch. No, I wasn't. Yeah, you did. I have a recording in a magical realm. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No. Well, since you said it like that, I guess you're right. I was never crying about this situation. I feel neutral about it. It's not yeah. a big deal, you know? It's like whenever I lost my firstborn son and my second and third and fourth sons. Oh my god. But the fifth one came along and I was like, okay. Not a big uh deal. How's he doing? Okay. He's still alive? Not good. Not bad. Oh. Could be better. <laughs> cool. Where'd you get this dagger from? The demon? He gave it to you? Or did you keep I don't it remember what on? where I said I got the dagger from. Where did what did I say last time? Said a, a man in a, a black cloak left it behind. Oh right. A, a, some sort of thing. A a man in a black cloak came along and he was like Hey, I'll give ah. you money for your dogs. And I was like, hey, I can make the world a better place with this money. So I said, yeah, okay. Yeah. And then he left behind that dagger on and the ground. And lost the money. Yeah, it disappeared. So you sold out puppies and people. Hmm. Yeah, but ne never lost, never gained. You know what I mean? I know, you lost. No, you I, actually lost. Well, I went into the situation with nothing. You know, I went into the situation with something that I would have never had. And then I walked away with the situation... With, 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 with nothing. So it's like I never gained some, I never lost some. Much Whatever. like a pickle. Yeah, or it's like, what? you know, it's like if you stole from some place, and then they caught you, and they took they took those possessions back, but then they didn't punish you. It's like, you know, never, never gained, never lost. I've never been in a situation like that. Only stolen from. Oh, okay. Yeah. That, I, that doesn't sound convincing. I don't know if I believe you. I don't need to prove myself to you, young man. Point me in the direction of this college. I believe I'm older than you. No, I don't think so. How old are you? Older than you. How old are you? 23. Yeah, I'm older than you. 
No, you can tell so. because of my my finger. It got cut off, and you can count the rings inside of it. What? He's got a point there. <laughs> it's Start a counting, then, Horace. He's about 27. It's really not a big deal that I'm older than you, though. <laughs> honestly. Sure. But oh, don't, where's... don't tell that to Tom Hankson. <laughs> Tom Hankson? Yeah. Why? He doesn't he doesn't believe in that motto. Anyways, okay. like I was saying earlier, if anyone would know anything about demons, which I still don't believe they exist because I'm Jewish, mm -hmm. okay. then the towers the, the towers of Magi would probably know. Mm. In the south. Okay. But be careful because you have to you have to leave this province to get there. And you know, the territory between the provinces is quite dangerous and not really meant for for travelers. That sounds perfect hmm. for adventurers. Okay. I didn't say that, but if that's the conclusion you want to make, okay. Yeah, you said travelers it's bad for, but we're adventurers and we have an expert adventurer with us. Okay, then. I mean, I'm not going to stop you if you really have that opinion. I'm not going to I'm not gonna, I'm not going to get in your way. Okay. I think we should make our way south, guys. What do you think? Mm. Jace? J Jace? Oh, I declare so, myself sorry, ruler. Sorry, sorry. I had, I had my mic turned off. Mm. I wonder why no one was I slapped Jace uh -huh. for the talk. Yeah, well, I hate like it when that idea. happens. Actually, I don't mind when that happens. It's not a big deal. You're pretty neutral. Yeah, I'm neutral on the subject. <laughs> Horns, could you do me a favor on our way there? No. All right. <laughs> what kind of favor yeah, are you looking yeah. for? <laughs> I was wondering if you could hold on to the my workshop for me. Sure. I climb inside and my huh? workshop, and hopefully Horns carries it. What? How does uh, that work? Well, know. my workshop is a uh, old, takes the shape of an old toolbox. So I was hoping Horns would carry it while I continue to work on stuff for us inside. No, I don't think so. Get out okay. of there. Climb out and let's just. So if something bad out. happens, then you won't hear us. All right. But yes, onward to the the call the college. Well, do you guys want a meal to eat or anything before you hit the road? Sure. Yes. Uh, my uncle, Horace's brother, makes makes a great makes a great salad. I love. He salad. calls it his own little Olive Garden. You know what I mean? <gasps> Ooh. Okay, I'll have some salad. What about you two? You're awfully quiet. You're kind of just... I, al I already said yeah. <laughs> okay, then. Jeez. Horace I mean, is kind of like that, don't you know? You're kind of just standing there with your eyes straight. Come on in. Come on in. They've seen some things after burning down two towns or something like you that. You what? They didn't do it, but they watched it. You, you just said they burned down two towns. I didn't mean they did. I said they seen Horace, it. did you burn down two towns? No, somebody else did. We tried to stop it. Oh. It wasn't Kaladin, was it? Who? Kaladin. You know, the the, the village I was wheelbarrowing those puppies away oh. from? Oh. Yeah. I had a few friends over there. Yeah, that, that place is gone. Oh, no! <laughs> yeah, You're pretty neutral, though, right? Uh, no. No, he's not. He was only neutral about the, the puppies and platinum. Yeah, I love friends. Friends are the best thing in the world. Oh, man. I had, like, three friends over there. A lot of people ran out of that town. <laughs> That's a lot for this time it. period. Yeah. What do you mean it's a lot? Wait, what? What do you mean it's a lot for this time period? What? You just said that's a lot for this time period. No. Yes, you did. I just heard you. No. Yes, you did. Uh, I you. just heard you. You just said that's a lot for this time period. What did you mean by that? No, you. You're not from another time period or something, are you? I? I hope not. 
When did a Horus Steel exist? <laughs> what do you? What? <laughs> the I'm gauntlet might have been able to thought. tell you. <laughs> I have no idea of my to origin. The whole, to skip this whole scene. <laughs> yeah, I, I want salad. <laughs> you dense motherfuckers. <laughs> okay, what? Uh, yeah, you skip <laughs> to the uh, <laughs> horses. <laughs> um, brother, who I guess uh, is some skinny guy or something, because he eats a bunch of salad. Um, like the opposite of Horus, who's like super buff. Yeah. And he's your brother, Horace. And mm. he comes out, and he's like, Oh, hey, Horace. Hello! <laughs> what brother. are you doing here? I want salad. Oh, you're looking for something to eat? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I can make you a salad real quick. And he, f he fixes you guys all up a salad. Oh, so what kind of dressing is it? There's no dressing. Uh, oh. No, it's one of those kinds of salads. Yeah. One of those. Hey, listen, a salad can be good without dressing. Have enough juicy ingredients. Don't know until you try it. No, there's no cheese. What, what's in the salad? What does this consist of? Cabbage. Oh. And some water. I, it's, you know, it's my own little home, home, my little home recipe I make. Thank Just, you so much. Uh, yeah, horse, horse taught me how to make it. Ah, that explains I'm a lot. I'm good at <laughs> That makes more sense now. Uh, yeah, where, where are you guys headed to? Um, the Towers of Magi. Oh, what are you, what are you doing there? We're trying Going to get horse school. in education. Okay. Why do you need to be educated? On how to slay our enemies. Maybe I could educate you on puppies. something then. If you need you know to be educated. No, I don't. Oh, then I guess we're gonna have to go to school. But I can give you some words of advice. It's sure. never right to mess with something that's dead. Ah, necromancy. No, I mean, like, you know, bodies aren't really dead. They're just, like, hunks of meat at that point. But, you know, souls, that's kind of messed up. I mean, it's not messed up. I'm just saying you'll be, you'll be in quite a pickle. If you know what I mean, if you mess with that no. type of stuff, you'll anger, you'll anger the ethereal plane. No, I don't think so. Okay, then. I mean, all right. I'm not gonna. Thanks for the advice, that. though. Okay. Well, good luck out there. Yeah, I, I eat don't think the, the old cabbage. Ones care about what we do with souls. Who doesn't care? The old ones and the fae. I think a lot of things bigger than us don't care what we do with them. Is that Jace saying that, or are you saying that? Yes, that's Jace. Oh, well, I mean, I mean, that's a pretty big prediction to say, don't you think? Because, like, once things die, they kind of go in a position of the, of gods. So it's like Isn't you're kind of stealing from them at that point. Isn't that a pretty big prediction to not believe in demons? No. Hmm, okay. What's wrong with that? Whatever your heart desires. Listen, I don't hit on your religion. Why do you have to hit on mine? I'm not hitting on your religion. Okay. It sounded like you were, because you were... My religion... You know what, I'm not. Just, I'm just not going to get into I'm it. I'm sorry you feel that way. Okay. Well, how about you just finish up your salad and leave? I'm already done. Okay. I make my way out. Thank you for the salad, sir. Okay, get out of here. I'm out. Goodbye, brother. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Goodbye, <laughs> horse. Goodbye. Son sold, or Bye, guys. Son sold, uh, souls of puppies for money. So uh, you deal with that. I mean, that's not a big deal, though, really, is it? You ju you literally just said that. Don't we that sell cows for money? <laughs> Yeah. So other people can eat them? He's got a point. You don't sell the cow's soul. Okay. I guess that's right. But do you? I mean, if you slaughter a lamb and offer it up as sacrifice, isn't that kind of offering up the soul? I don't do that. Didn't it, didn't Aprak, Apracam do that? 
I'm not Apricat. Okay. I'm not gonna tread on any water here. <laughs> Goodbye, brother. <laughs> Goodbye, Horace. You're my favorite brother. Uh, all hell, Horace, right? Uh, uh yes. I gotcha. Yes. Yeah. What do you mean you guess? That's kind of weird. What? How's it weird? You're noble. Oh, yeah. yeah I forget You sometimes. left our family so you could go be royalty, remember? Did I? That's what I remember. I remember nothing. Okay, well, good luck out there. Tell Dad I said hi. Just hi, <laughs> though. Don't say anything else. Yes. Good goodbye. <laughs> goodbye, brother. <laughs> okay, goodbye. Leave. Get the fuck out of my house. This is my house. <laughs> oh yeah. Goodbye, brother. <laughs> okay. I, I Go leave. I leave. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> I'm just laughing parties. at all the awkward pauses. <laughs> this adventuring party is so retarded. <laughs> Well, um, I, I I wanted to say something about Horace. Um, so I had another piece of lore to add. That piece of metal he has in his head from the the great mechanic. Yeah. That supposedly was supposed to let him shoot lasers. One of the big reasons why it doesn't work is because it makes his brain go a mile uh, a million miles a second. So it's just shut off constantly, and that's why he's stupid. <laughs> what? Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I got disconnected. For like the last minute. So it makes you think too quickly, so that's why you're like dense. Wait, what? Is that what you said? You the piece of metal makes you think too quickly, so that's why you're like when it's on. Oh, okay. It, it, it it's off constantly because of that, and without it being on, Horace isn't smart. Uh... He he used to have regular intelligence, and then he got that put in. And then he was thinking too much, and he would pass out because it would, like, fuck him over, like, mentally. Uh, so, so, so now it's off, and it, it doesn't let, like, like everything fire through his brain. And he, he's just, you know, he's got his wits about him, but he's not the smartest cookie anymore because of it. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Um, so it is right about the evening. What do you guys want to do? You can do whatever you want. Uh, that's, you guys know. don't have to go to the top match. I don't care. I'll, I'll wing... Whatever. It's a it's a nice night. We should just start traveling. If we see anything along the way, then you know, we can take a peek. Okay. Where are you traveling to? Is what I mean. South Towers of the Magi. Okay. Um, Horace. Mmm. <laughs> God, Jesus Christ. I think we're all just going roll to roll two d twelve. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Um, let me now roll my dice. So we can find out what ends up happening to you three. I'm fine with going to the college. What the hell? Sorry. I gotta open up my resources for just a second. Let me... Sorry. Give me two more seconds. Not in that exact order, but in that exact time frame. Um, okay. So as you guys are adventuring, um, a... Uh, you guys are adventuring through the woods, um, and you hear some ruffles in the side of the path. What, what do you that? do? Guys, do you hear that? I check the bush. <laughs> okay, how do you check it? I, well, I mean, I check it, I spice. I, do you just I look spread. at it? You no, just no. look at I, it? I, hold on, I'm getting there, I'm getting there. I go up to the bush, I put my hands, and I spread it like a fine pair of butt cheeks. Okay. <laughs> a hand reaches out. Um, ah. And ah. you, you, you... <laughs> ah. A hand! No! <laughs> um, a, you see a, a, 
a face appear in the bushes of some sort of beast, some sort of um <laughs> like monkey like figure Ugh. clad in armor, and its hand reaches out and grips around your throat as you are <clears throat> like reaching inside of there. Um Roll a dexterity saving throw, Robbie. Let's see oh. what you get. A four? Okay. Now I will roll. Okay. You are strangled. Um, oh. And you will be taking... Oops. Let's push it this way. A five damage. Uh, everybody else roll for initiative. Well, everybody roll for initiative. Sorry. Yeah, my initiative. mistake. I heard y'all were wanting some combat from my last adventure. 17. Let's see, plus one. Roll. Robbie? What? I already rolled. What'd you get? Two. Two. Okay. Um, and they will go for initiative, and they will get that. Okay. Uh, Jace, you are first up. You see okay. only this figure now on the side of the road, um, holding up Robbie with only one of his hands. Um, or holding up Horus, sorry. Holding up Horus. Um, with his hand with gripped around his throat. What do you do? Uh, I think I'm going to start off with an Eldritch Blast. Okay. Oh boy. So it's a uh, ranged spell attack, so... Let's see, spells... Would that be my spell save DC, then? Or I'm not sure. I don't know how... I don't know how your abilities work. Uh... Okay. I guess I'll just do a ranged attack roll. Okay. Plus my spell modifier. Okay. Is that how a spell works? Uh, it, it literally just says a uh, beam of energy uh, streaks towards a creature within range, make a ranged spell attack against a target. Oh, okay, yeah. Then you add your ranged spell attack to it, to your d20. That's what a ranged spell attack is. I'm not seeing it on the sheet, so... Okay. Wait, what are you what are you looking for? Uh range spell attack. <coughs> I think that's I near see, the, I see the spell attack modifier, is that what it is? I yeah, isn't that what it is, Clay? Spell attack modifier? Yeah, that's what it is. Uh, okay, because I asked yeah. that. Spell attack yeah. bonus. Well okay. that's what it is. It's spell attack bonus. He's got plus seven for it. Jesus, Jesus. Christ, how do you have that so bonus? 11. Okay. Ten? Uh yeah, you miss him. You fire off a, a bolt and it whizzes by his head. He looks over at you. It makes that noise. Um, <laughs> Robbie, you're up. I... Or sorry, Lisa's up. Sorry. That's sick. Okay. Um, I'm going to use sacred flame on him. He needs to make a dexterity saving throw. Okay. Hey, baby bird. I smite him. Burn, no. um, unfortunately, he does not have a dexterity, so I'll make something out. <laughs> okay, you got a 14. Yeah, he, he fails for damage. <laughs> so fails. He takes six radiant damage. Okay. Two. And then I'm going to scream at him. Ah! You're just going to scream at him? Ah? Yeah, like really loud. I can't do that right now. Okay. Ah! Um. The uh, beast holding up Robbie uh, with his one hand uh, continues to grip around your throat, Horus. I keep on saying mm. Robbie. I guess that says a lot about your character, Robbie. <laughs> <laughs> guess so. <laughs> I'm I'm memorable. Yeah. Um. Uh. <laughs> let's see. How does this How does this work? Sorry. Okay. Take another five damage as he continues oh, okay. to strangle you. 
Arrgh! He, sh he shakes you a little bit too. Horus, it is your turn. You can choose to attack or to try to escape. Uh, let me see. My attacks. Oh wait, didn't I get something that allowed me to make? I gotta, I gotta look at my thing. What did, what did I buy? Blah. You know, I think I'm just gonna. Uh, but I don't think my fist do it. Actually, I guess I'll try to. Try, I'll punch him in the face. Okay. <laughs> You gonna punch him? Okay. Yeah, that hits. Twenty-two. Yeah, that hits. All right, I, I punch him. And, uh, isn't a fist like a D six of damage? Um, something like that. All right. Do I do three. Three damage. Yeah. Okay. Um, so as you punch him, um, or not as you punch him, but after you punch him, um, you hear a rustle in the bushes behind you, and a goblin appears with a short bow and fires it off, um, <laughs> at what they would assume to be the weakest person in your group, which would be Jace, they assume, since he casted a spell. Um, <laughs> Jace, does a 16 hit you? Uh, 16? Uh, yes. Okay. Um, take four damage as arrow thunk, hits into your back. Um, and two more pop out next to that oh, goblin God. as well. Two more goblins. Um, with one of them with a spear and one of them with a, a short sword. Um, and they run over to you as well, Jace. Um, and they're both going to attack you. Uh, does a 15 hit? Uh, 15 is my armor class. Okay, so I'm gonna assume it does it. Um, 17 hits? Yes. Okay. I take 4 damage. Okay. I see. Stab stabs you a little bit into your knee. And says something in Goblin. Um, Jace. Uh, actually, uh, what is it? I'm gonna use, uh, my reaction. Okay. Cast a Hellish Rebuke. Okay. Well, what does it do? Uh, point your finger at a creature, and that damage or that damage you is momentarily surrounded by hellish flames. The creature must make a dexterity saving throw. It takes a two d ten on a failed save, or half as much on a successful one. Okay. I don't really know what that does. I was like, what do I have to do? Dexterity have to make saving throw. Dexterity save. Okay. So I'm gonna point at him and yell like you bastard and like uh he gets a fourteen. Guess. Fourteen, so yeah, uh that's not a save. Okay. Uh so two D ten. Sure, I don't I don't know what y'all spells yeah, are. It's a two D ten, so that's three, six damage. Okay. Yeah, you kill him. <laughs> Is it like a wall of flame or something or what? Uh it it's like a torrent of flame that surrounds him. Okay. He gets trapped in this prison of flame. And then it goes away and it's just ash there. And the other goblin next to him says, Holy shit! And goblin. Mm -hmm. So you guys can't understand <laughs> it. <laughs> what do you say? Jace, your turn. Oh, I'm glad we don't understand it. <laughs> uh, they're, 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 they're talking about tactics! And I'm going to uh, cash a... Uh, or cast uh, Cash me outside. <laughs> Eldritch, another Eldritch okay. Blast at the uh, gobl other goblin next to me. Okay. 18. Yeah, that hits. Is that the D10? Blast him, yeah, blast him. Yeah, 9 damage. Yeah, you kill him too. Um, okay, Lisa, your turn. I'm going to cast Guiding Bolt at the guy who's still holding Robbie. And so I need to do a ranged spell attack on him. So it's going to be... It's a 20... Oh. Plus 8. 20. 18. Nope. It misses. No? Shit. It misses. Um, his turn. He's going to keep on strangling you. 
force. Oh, oh no. Take five more damage. As your oh, face no. begins to turn a little bit more blue. Horus, your turn. Uh, alright. I <laughs> like to imagine him. just this guy just like... Horus! Eyes bulging out. 20 <laughs> seconds straight. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'd like to rip his hands off, but uh, I forgot I could attack twice. I was gonna punch him again. Okay. Does, uh... I, you know, I really doubt with my modifiers <laughs> either of those hit. Uh, yeah, they both, they both just, like, you hit him successfully, but he has a helmet on, and it just, <laughs> punk, punk, on each side of his helmet, and he kind of, like, goes with the blow of them, too. Um, the goblin, with the, with the bow on the side of the fight, um, he goes, fuck this, and turns around, ready to leave. Wait, didn't only two goblins pop out? Uh, no, no three, three. Did. One Three of them with a the bow, one of them with a spear, one of them with a the sword. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sorry, just double check. Don't worry, I got it. Um, he goes, fuck this! And turns around to leave. And the bugbear strangling you, Horus, turns to him. And, well, I guess you now know he's a bugbear. The bugbear strangling <laughs> you, Horus, <laughs> turns towards him and he goes, oh. Get back here, you coward! And the goblin turns around and he looks really scared now. Um, and he's going to now get an advantage on his attacks. Um, and he fires uh, a, an arrow at you, uh, Jace, and he crits. Um, take 14 damage. Fuck! Fires it at you. Shit. What, yeah. did you get like a fucking headshot at me? He got a crit. <laughs> he got max on his damage roll. Yeah, and he got a crit. He fink, fires it off, and it just like lodges into your neck. <laughs> oh, at least it's on your knee. Thanks to the magical properties of this world, you let out a... <laughs> as you would... <laughs> begin to bleed. <laughs> begin to Ooh. bleed. Uh, Jace, back to you. Uh, I'm going to uh, cast a uh, Eldritch Blast of that fucker. Okay. Blast. Blast away. 24. Yeah, that hits. Nine. Yeah, you blast him. Blast. He is he is nothing but blasted. He's dead. Ha! Huh? Lisa, it is your go. I'm gonna go one more on the Lex since an 18 doesn't hit people. I'm gonna do Sacred Flame. He needs to do a deck saving throw, please. Okay. 20. 20? Unnatural. Shit. Unnatural 20. Okay. Yeah, no, I don't hit him. Okay. Um, He's gonna strangle you again. Robbie, you take that 12 damage. Sorry, I accidentally pressed it twice. Um, he strangles you again, and noticing that his camaraderie of goblins have been defeated, lets go of you, turns around, and runs into the forest. Well, um, I'm gonna... I'm gonna can I use that to my opportunity? Uh, yeah, sure. Go ahead. I want to throw my javelin at Oh my god. Uh, well, right. I'll, you could throw your javelin on your turn, but like... Since you're getting attack of opportunity, you can do like some sort of melee <coughs> attack on him. Okay. Well, then I use my sword. Okay. Punk, punk. Oh. <laughs> yeah, they yeah. both. Oh god. <laughs> and that'd be an eleven, and that'd be a ten. Yeah, they Pretty both sure miss. Probably. Better. Luckily, Horus is your turn. He's still in then sight. I, I throw a javelin. Punk, <laughs> punk. And that's gonna be a twenty. That'll be a twenty-one. Yeah, the twenty-one hits. All right, oh my God, then. One, one, eight plus three. So I do ten damage. Nice. Oomk. Throw this javelin. It lodges into his arm. Jace, your turn. He is fleeing from combat. Yeah, that's that. That's my move. Yep. Now it's Jace's turn. Because he's next in line. Okay, so who's uh, fleeing from combat? The monkey uh, bear. The bug bear. Bug. That was yeah. previously strangling Horus. Uh, okay, so I'm going to go and... Kill him, Jace! Uh, I'm going to use... Hmm. I'll use another Eldritch Blast. It's pretty okay. fun. Blast Hello. away. <laughs> yeah, you miss. Ah. It, it's a tree, though. 
Ooh, looks kind of cool. Uh, Lisa, your turn. It is my turn. Um, how far away is he, this man, right now? He's about 35 feet away. Into the woods. <laughs> Hello? Yep. Is he within 120 feet? Did you hear me? I said he's about 35 no, feet away. Oh, no. Uh, oh. I think your mic might not be coming through half the time, because it's quiet a lot. So. Oh, sorry about that. Maybe move a little bit closer to my, my face. Wait, so he is within 120, right? How um, far is he? Yeah, he's 35 feet away. 35? Okay, I'm going to attempt to use Guiding Bolt again. Let me reroll. Does this sound uh, better to you guys, or does it sound the same? Uh, I guess better. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, you shoot off and it misses. Um, yeah. and he continues to run and he has successfully fled from combat. <laughs> yeah, there, there, there was just an awkward pause there, and I was like, "Can I tell her what the distance is?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry, it sounded weird to me because I was like, "Yeah, he's about thirty-five feet away." We and then I heard it. We, did <laughs> <laughs> we didn't. We didn't hear a single word of that. Not even like. See, you guys always take all. fucking pauses all the time and everything, so it's just like normal for me to say something, and then I don't hear anything back. Anyone there? <laughs> I think it's Discord. Yeah, maybe you it cut is. Off mid speech. Oh, I God think it's Discord because um, you two got caught off too. Maybe. Okay, uh, oh, maybe. that would make. Okay, you want to search the goblin bodies? Um, yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, you find uh, a short bow on one of them, um, a short sword on the other, and they both have uh, pretty torn up leather armor. Hello. It cut off again. God damn you it. You find a short bow. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we do anything, I don't know if this will change anything, but change the server to US West instead of US South. Okay, at least I'll have to do that. Where is that? Uh, you see where it says voice connected at the bottom connection info right next to the hang-up thing? I think that's where you change it. If not, then it might be in server settings. Oh, here we go. I got, Show me a I got administrator. 43. You want it US West, you said? Yeah, to... that's usually the better one. Yeah, sure. Let's do that. Okay. Are we all still here? Well, yeah. for now, we, we'll have to see. We'll... Okay. Well, <laughs> we my short went out. And we what sound else? all really different to me. Now. Really? Yeah, I everyone's like that. much louder. Oh, so maybe the it's connection better. is just better. Maybe. Um, yeah, the ping might go up, but it's not a big deal. I think it just might connect better because we were getting cut off like stop there. Okay, yeah. so what do we find? For okay, us? so you find a short bow, a short sword, and some torn up leather armor, and about uh enough copper to equal about three silver. Okay, so we all get one silver. Except Pollock. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you guys want to continue on? Um, yeah. while he's ra ra I'm ravaging... I'm saying he's like blood just pouring out of my throat. Yeah, as you're <laughs> doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to use Prayer of Healing on both on everyone. So let's see, it's going to be a 2d8 plus spell casting. Put that in here. Eight plus my modifier. While we do that, where where is everybody right now? Horace and Jace, what is y'all's HP at? Uh, uh, twenty six. And I am now at thirty two. Thirty two. So... Oh my god! What is your max oh, yeah, HP? Oh I still have to add fifty four. Okay. Good hold on, there. that's not it. I still have to add something else <laughs> as well. I drank a I'm health potion. <laughs> It raised it by back to level five. Plus two plus let's see, it's gonna be a level two spells so two four plus four, so nineteen. That that's right, why I was okay with max again. What? Nineteen. Or nineteen I'd be Is that everybody or so it's gonna be nineteen and then yeah, 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 that's max. You can see and so each. That's what... No, you each get 19. Okay. That's why I kept letting him choke me, though, because I was like, I could... I, I, this is funnier. <laughs> You're just <laughs> swishing, <laughs> swinging your fists at him, just... <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um, we should rest. 
Sure, tell me what y'all are gonna do. Um... Is, are we assuming are... Pollux is with us? Like, is he just kind of chilling on the No, side? he's not there. Ah. I, I mean, what time- wait, so what time of day is it again? It is the middle of the night. Middle of the night? Yeah, right, it's like guess, midnight. Middle of the middle of a forest? Yeah, you guys are in the middle of a forest in the middle of the night. Uh, I'm gonna climb the highest tree I can. Okay. Uh, oh, make an roll, check? roll to climb, I guess. What is- so that'd be acrobatics? acrobatics? Yeah. No, athletics. Athletics. Athletics? Yeah. Can I choose acrobatics? Uh, I if you, you can justify it. Uh, I do a somersault up the tree. Like, I'm thinking about like swinging up the trees, like grabbing a low branch, swinging up like a pole, then doing. Can it I like over lift him again. up to help him because he's kind of short? I'll roll for athletics roll. and acrobatics with that then. For both. Yeah, if you're gonna swing up a tree like you're doing like a a chimpanzee. Like a trapeze, like a trapeze artist, that's a lot of acrobatics. No, acrobatics yeah. is like walking on like a line, right, or like. Balancing no. yourself, or no, acrobatics is like balance and like like jumping and. Swing. Well, I'm kind of with Clay on this one, to be honest. Yeah, jumping and swinging are athletics. Acrobatics ath is, is stuff you, you like need skiing, right? Well, skiing. acrobatics is more like balance. Well, and agility. Athletics is your athletical ability to actually do something uh, that is like. Athletic, so I don't know. Acrobatics would fall under being athletic. Yeah, or perform acrobatic stunts, and I think this is an acrobatic stunt. So I think that falls under athletic. Yeah, but you still no, it you falls under. Uh, no, it falls under. Acrobatics. Is acrobatics an actual stat? Yes. Yeah, acrobatics is stat. Under so under explain to me what you're doing. You're swinging on a branch, like a trapeze artics. You know, like swing up. Catch it, swing up, catch it like like those like old arts, old school like uh, platformers. Well, yeah, but they need to be athletic in order. You to have do to have that. the strength for it too. Uh, check to see if you can perform acrobatic stunts, including just do athletics. Roll, some I don't yes. have athletics though. Uh, that's well, too bad. Okay, well no, then you fail. You don't roll for it. You <laughs> fail. Fine. No, you fail. I'll roll. I'll no, roll. you fail. You there, fail. One. Yeah, I fail. <laughs> <laughs> I land straight on my yeah, back. We were dra dragging out trying to climb up a tree way too much. Um, yeah, so you try to climb up there and you fail. And you land on your back. And you take a d6 of damage too, for arguing with me. Bam, 6 damage. Just kidding. <laughs> That's I'm just kidding. That would be mean. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> I, right when Jace falls, I make my bed next to him. Okay. On the ground. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good night, everyone. Yeah, so, Jace, night. you are on the ground. Um, you have questioned I'm, your life decisions briefly. I'm just gonna make my bed real quickly and fall asleep. <laughs> okay. Wait, you're a part elf. You can't sleep. Can't sleep. No, I can't be put to sleep. Mad. Well, yeah, but meditate. they can use the option to meditate. No, I I, th I think I like sleep. that explanation more for Jace that like elves do sleep, but they just can't be put to sleep. You know, I never really okay. liked the entire like meditating thing. Yeah, it it did seem kind of weird. All right, then go with that. Okay. <laughs> um, Horus, roll another two d twelve as you drift off to sleep. All right. Okay. Let's roll another 3D100 and see what you encounter in the night. Okay, nice. I don't have to flip that far this time. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, yes, I do. What did I roll earlier? I... In the hundreds? Hold on. Let me, let me look. I just have to scroll up here. Scroll uh, up. 136. Hmm. So you're like almost a good hundred off. Oh man, these things are pretty strong. Maybe I'll get to the next page. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, you awaken to Horus being uh, to Horus. You you awake Horus, um, and you are stabbed by um, oh this Oof. this shark. 
What? Literally a shark with legs, and it has a trident, and it stabs you, Horus. Um, <laughs> is this a dream? Do we all wake up from? I don't know. Uh, does a twenty-three hit? Does a what? Twenty-three. Does it hit? All. Hot on. Yes. Nice. Okay. What, what is their nice. damage on here? Let me see. Sorry. You're dead. Okay, you take five damage. Um, and you are bloodied. Oh, okay. Bloodied. Yep. Roll for initiative. Okay. All right, I have a plus three to that. Okay. So, Horus, Lisa, then Jace. And then the bad guys. Um, Horus, you look around with this, like, trident being stabbed into you, and you notice along with this walking shark, um, there is also um, a manatee, also with legs. Oh, my God. Um, <laughs> That is also holding a trident and is wearing armor. <laughs> so right so wait, is there only one? There is a <laughs> there. There are two sharks and a manatee. I I just I I look and I go. This makes no sense. Um. Okay. Is that your turn? <laughs> oh, yeah. I should probably. <laughs> um. Life. Let's see, what do I want to do? Oh, man. Oh, man. I have a- oh, no, but that's only once a day. I was- <laughs> I was thinking of stabbing him with the glutton's fork and eat some. <laughs> and I can regain health. That's like once a day use, I think. <laughs> yep. like, I got it. Got if you wanted to. No, I'll, Just um, take a bite out of your enemy. <laughs> um, I- I don't know, am I able to- can I get a weapon out like this? Yeah, yeah, you can draw a weapon. But the way, the way I'm dealing with the weapon drawing and all that, just so y'all know, you can draw a weapon as like a free action, but putting away a weapon is an action. Does that make sense? Okay. So like yeah, if you no, were if you had a sword in your hand and you wanted to sheath it, that would be an action. If you want to throw your yeah. sword to the side, that wouldn't be an action. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, cool. All right, pew pew. The first one is one is 23. Yeah, that hits. To both or just one? Oh, sorry. Was that two rolls? 20 and what? Oh, uh, the, the first one was... Uh... Wait, why do I have... Oh, wait. Uh, the first one was 13. The second one was 23. Okay, 23 hits. The 13 oh. does not. Oh, All right. Yeah. Long. Plus three. Seven. Okay. Yeah, you cut him in half like sushi. Oh, wait. That actually would be ten. Seven's already dead. Yep. The shark that stabbed Horus is dead. Uh, Lisa. I wanna... <laughs> Hold I'm, <it>. gonna cast... <laughs> I'm gonna cast Guiding Bolt okay. on the manatee. A manatee, right? That's what it is? I'm yeah, the manatee. That. So, okay. let's see. Range spell gonna be 11. No, misses. Oh, shit! I forgot to... I... Oh, fuck! Oh, my gosh. Well, no, I could have been adding another 6 to my attacks the whole time. The rolls. Okay. Oh, man. So, there's shit. two of them left, right? Yeah, there's a shark and a manatee left. They both have tridents. Okay. So, I'm going to, uh... Cast, uh, I'm gonna draw in my uh, warlock energies and cast a uh, freezing uh, eldritch blast of like frost at them. Okay, so that's gonna be a d20 plus six, so that's 16. At which one? Uh, at the manatee, yeah, it misses. Ah. Sorry. Um, the shark, the other shark that's up, is drawn, he sees that you are, you have some blood on you, Horus, and he is drawn towards you. So he runs oh. over to you oh. with his, with his trident and lets out a shark noise, whatever shark noise would be. How does he hold it? 
How does he hold it with his fins? Duh. Shark fins. Firmly <laughs> grasp it. Does a 24 hit? Yes. Okay. Okay. Take um nine damage as he s stabs it into you a little bit. And you notice you're like a little bit more vulnerable. Like he was more tenacious with his attack now that you are bloodied. Um, and you get some more blood on you. Like this seems like an absorbent amount of blood. Whatever I don't that understand. Okay, we well, have the dagger. dagger. <laughs> Let the dagger eat it. <laughs> um, the manatee um, lets out a manatee noise, I guess. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Um, and he, he is also drawn towards your blood horse. What? So he also runs over to you. That blood um, he gets a 23, which I think hits you. Yeah. Um, Take, uh, what is that? 13 damage. Still. As he also s slices into your side now. And he flips you over onto the ground with that with that attack. Because I know you're on your bed frame. Yeah. Um, Horace, it is back to you. Well, kind of annoyed right now. <laughs> so I get up and I, uh, I, uh, Attack him with my sword. Is that alright? Yeah. Tag him with yeah. my sword? Yeah, go for it. Yeah. I roll that, and I roll that, and uh, that one will be... Uh, I, I think that's like a... a they're, they're both above 20. Okay. Yeah, they both hit then. Okay. Who are you attacking the shark? Uh, the one that flipped me over. Okay, yeah, the manatee. Okay, yeah, because I, I, I forgot what you put me over already. That's... Bonk, bonk. So, seven, four, so, 20, uh, 26 damage. Okay. <laughs> okay. I mean, that's my, he's still that's up. My... He looks, he still looks pretty good. Lisa, your go. I'm gonna cast Sacred Flame. I need the good sir to make a dex saving throw. Okay. God damn this dexterity bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> um, who are you casting it on, by the way? Make the sure you'll tell me. Oh, the manatee. Okay. Yeah. He gets a ten. A ten? Oh no, he fails. Okay, so he's gonna be taking one d eight. He takes one damage. <laughs> 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 he gets a I little, shock him. Gets a little singed. <laughs> when it hits him, he goes, hee <laughs> hee. I slowly cook him. <laughs> I don't know if you even cook him with that damage. Jay, it's your turn. Rare. What do okay, you do? Uh, I'm going to cast another Eldritch Bolt, but this time at the uh, shark. Okay. The remaining shark. 25. Yeah, that hits. 5 damage. You kill him. Chunks of shark fly out everywhere. And some of them hit your face, of course. The manatee um, grabs hold of the trident that flew away from the shark, and he's now like dual wielding two tridents, and he stabs With both flippers? of them. <laughs> yeah, he stabs both of them into you. Um, he's going to get a disadvantage on both attacks. Um, first one hits, second one. Does not hit. You get away this day. Um, take eight damage. As one of the tridents gets into your armor, and he spins it a little bit to make it a little bit more painful. <coughs> For a suit turn. Uh, wait, was that me taking eight damage? Yep. Okay. Die, oh. fiend. Huh. Slay him. He speaks English. All right. Then oh, that's I, just uh, me, the narrator. Oh. <laughs> I wanna, I wanna stab a fork into him. Okay. All right. How do, how do I go about doing that? Just roll a twenty. Oh, you're trying to eat him or what? You're just trying to stab I, him. The, yeah, trying to eat a portion of him. I need some help. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Roll to attack. Now, now, hold on there. Hold on a second. That's gonna be a nine. <laughs> um. Okay. You do not break his armor class, but you do get away with a bolt from his armor. 
All right, I eat the ball. <laughs> okay. And let okay. me see what that was again to roll. I think it was 2d6 of health. <laughs> Bang bong. <laughs> I get 11 from my ball. And it was edible. Well, Nestor and Jace, you see Horus take a second, six seconds to enjoy a snack in the middle of this combat. Lisa, your turn. <laughs> okay, I'm going to... Do Sacred Flame again. I need a deck saving, please. Okay. He gets a 10. Another and 10. Looks, I'm gonna be cooking him again. Three damage. Wowzers. Jace, it is your go. This manatee, two tridents ready. Ready to destroy, ready to kill, ready to fight. Ready to take your life. What do you do? I'm going to do the thing that Jace would do, and I'm going to aim for his eyes with an Eldritch Blast. Okay. 18. Yeah, it misses. What? How? how I miss. Don't ask how class. you don't miss. <laughs> <laughs> he has a high yeah. AC. They all have good AC. <laughs> I think Robbie figured out what the AC is. More um, or less. I know the range. It's like 21. 20. <laughs> the manatee. Dual wielding these stridents once again. Tries to stab you with them both. Luckily, he has a disadvantage because he just rolled a crit. Um, so the first one hits. The second one also hits. Um, Ooh, me. Take 7 plus 8 damage. Take 15 damage as both the tridents squeak into you. Back to you, Horus. What do you do? What do you do to fight? This manatee Wait, has how invaded. Much 15. Okay. This hmm. manatee is ready to take your life. He is ready to kill you and eat you and enjoy you with a with a clan. I'm gonna use divine smite. And I raise my weapon. And I roll twice to see how... <laughs> yeah, hold on. Eight... <laughs> Uh, uh, hold on, that's, 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 uh, God, I'm trying to think of a mile a second here, because I'm like, oh shit, what do I do? But I think that's, that's 8, plus, plus 6, that's 14, plus that, I got a 20 on that one, but the second one won't hit for sure. You got a 20 on the first one? Yeah. Yeah, that hits. Okay. Okay, um, good. I'm fine with you doing Divine Smite on this turn. But just so you know, for next time, whenever you do your double action, um, or double double attack, that is the only thing you can do on your turns, as far as I'm aware, for the player's handbook. You could double check it, but I believe that's how it works. If I remember. Well, divine, no, Divine Smite just embellishes my weapon. It makes me do an extra 2d8 damage. With Isn't my it melee a bonus weapon. action? Divine Smite, when you hit, uh, let me, let me look up where divine smite is because I, I actually don't know if it's a because uh, i thought it was just it was something i used before i attack and then i yeah uh let's see i'm just you don't have to look at it right now look at it look at it after the game the yeah, way well, i remembered no, it... was that the double attack only works if you do only an attack well it, it, it says when you hit a creature with a melee weapon attack i can expend one spell slot okay cool deal that's like a free action. I think so. Uh, I I can skip out on using it because I don't. No, I, that's, I'll have to find it later. That's fine to use. I'm just saying, like, after the game, just double okay. check for me. For I, I will because I I actually don't. I I will. Yeah, I don't know. I think. <laughs> Do the damage. All right. Well, Do it. One, Do it. One the eight plus. Uh, wait, what did I just roll? Okay, seven eight five. Uh, so I start to damage and then the two more d8. Take start to forty, but twenty damage. Twenty damage. Uh, this black forest gets lit up with Horus's weapon as it collides into this mantis <laughs> face, and the mantis face just like flies back, like as if he was like bending backwards, and just comes back with his stupid manatee face. Yeah, he's like one of those rubber punch dolls. <laughs> <laughs> it lets out a... His tongue looks kind of gross. Lisa, your turn. So it's still alive? 
<laughs> yep, because manatee. Dual oh trident. God. Ready to break you open like a clam. Yeah, sacred flame. Uh, deck saving, because that's the only thing I can get a chance to hit him with, It's a 21. A 21? I, dude, I just clap my hands. Well done. Clap on, clap on. Well done, manatee. <laughs> <laughs> Jace, what do you do? Uh, do something. How how Everybody. how badly hurt are you, horse? I don't worry about that. Well, the hell. <laughs> okay, so I'm I've been going to use healing doing. word on horse. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> so that is going to be like one d eight. I want to say Five. no. How much, how much is, is it? Uh, 1d4 plus my spellcasting modifier. That's okay. Uh, okay, so you have uh, 1d4. Where's d4 here? 1d4. So he gets healed 10 hit points. Okay. There you go. Alright, I'm good again. What's your ability modifier? You have 22? I have a. Uh, Seven. Full attack bonus is a uh, plus seven. seven. Yeah, I don't think that's your attack bonus. You're not attacking him. Was your spell I, casting ability? Yeah, it's uh, ability. Uh, I thought it, that was a uh, no. I have ability. it open right here. His mind goes off of charisma. Yeah, and mine... I have like plus four charisma plus three proficiency. It's not that's proficiency. Seven. It's spell casting ability. Let me look that up then. This is your base. Proficiency would be for your attack. Oh, gouch. Well, his spell save DC is 15, and his spell attack modifier is plus 7, which I thought my was, like, My spell thing ability is plus 5, and my spell attack is plus 8. Because I add my proficiency to my spell ability. Yeah. There's, um, there's ability, and save DC, and attack bonus. Yeah. It's gonna be plus 4, okay. if your charisma's 18. Okay, then it's 7. Nicer! Eat him up. Um, the manatee. Rears, it's hungry. Rear, it, whenever it springs back, it goes in for the kill on you. Oh boy! Horus, and it tries to bite you. Does a mm. twenty-seven hit? Oh. Yeah. Okay. Let me pull out my trusty D10. <laughs> Take eight damage as oh. it chomps onto your shoulder. <laughs> And it doesn't let go either. Ah! Or it's your turn. Slap <laughs> Slap mm. <laughs> Ew! <laughs> you can choose to remove this creature, if you would like. Uh... Wait, I feel like that's a bad idea. Um... What do I do here? Hmm... Live! <laughs> Uh. Yeah. Hmm. I mm. I don't know. I I I guess I'll try to remove them. <laughs> you do have lay on hands. Don't forget to use your spells and your abilities. Oh no, I I was aware of that. I just didn't know if I could use that while he's attacking me. Oh, yeah, you can. You can do whatever you want. Oh, okay. Wait, so does that count as my main action, then? If you remove it? Does. Oh, no, yeah, no, if you heal. Lay, lay yeah. yeah, it does. Mm. I believe. Like remove I said, him. I don't know y'all's abilities. It's gonna hurt you more. Um. Uh, oh. Yeah, I guess I'll remove him. Uh, plus... Okay, strength. Strength saving throw. Roll plus it. like six. I just did, I rolled eleven six. and plus six, so it's seventeen. Okay, and then he will oh. roll. Oh, I'm boy. sorry, Horace. You got a natural twenty. <gasps> God. He hangs on. Bad shark. Um, oh, it hurts. It's a man. That shark or manatee. Lisa, your turn. You are go. Okay, I'm going to. <laughs> Noises. Uh, <laughs> you like try to pull him off. 
Uh, just imagine like you're being punched like, like <laughs> Dear God. Desperate what times do do, for desperate measures. I'm gonna grab hold of my holy symbol and cast channel divinity preserve life on Horus. Oh. He's gonna gain twenty five hit points. Okay. What's your uh health pool, Horus? Like uh, the max health pool? Fifty. Fifty is your max? Okay, yeah, so you get twenty five. That's my action. He goes at 25, or he gets 25? Gets 20. Or, no, he my gets, his maximum goes to 25, so. Oh, wait, so I go up to 25, or yeah, I get 20? You get 20. Like, you go up to 25. So you're at 25 now. Okay. Okay, that that makes, yeah. I was yeah, wondering cause if Yeah, because I can't go over half for you. Okay. Jace, it is your go. This manatee okay. is biting Horus. Still biting horse? Yep, still biting him. Yeah, hungry little bastard. Another headshot on it. Okay. Blast him. What? Uh, natural oh, shit. Okay, so 1d10. Yep. 14 damage. Okay. You blast him. Right in the eye. And he is dead. You blast you blast him off and chunks of his meat go flying everywhere. Ew. And his jaw is still like lodged on your shoulder, horse. Well, I What's the end uh, of combat? What? It's the end of combat. Okay, well I take that off and I gather up all the chunks and put them in my bag of holding. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna sell this to a fish market. <laughs> I'm gonna do the same to uh, one of the sharks. Okay. <laughs> All well, right. Great for uh, seafood spaghetti. Chunks. Uh, the three tridents. Okay. I can take, sell them. Take a trident. We each get one. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We have a trident. <laughs> I examine <laughs> it. What does it do? Uh, it's it can be used to be thrown like a javelin or used as a spear. <gasps> what are they made of? Um. Ah, shit. Uh, calcium. It's a bone. No calcium. They are made of calcium. A calcium trident. Okay, I wrote it down. Cool. Um. Okay, it's about two a.m. What do I you guys want to do? Back, I fall back to sleep. Uh, I'm gonna stay up and keep watch. Okay. Good night, everyone. I guess I like... watch for the rest what? of it. Sorry, what? Jace. What'd you say? Or uh, I guess sort of stay up and keep watch. Okay. So, we don't get another surprise attack. Alright, I fall asleep <laughs> to regain my health. Okay. Um, yeah, you guys sleep through the nights. Um, Jace, you hear something, like, rustling in the bushes at about, like, 4 a.m. Um, and you hear a... from the bushes. What do you want to do? Uh, so I hear, like, a growl from the bushes? Yeah, you hear like a. It's a manatee, <laughs> zombie. Uh, Hold on, guys. No. Let me go get my uh, my charger. I'm actually in my room right now. Hopefully, my battery or hopefully my laptop doesn't die. I'll be right back. Sorry. <laughs> okay. It's a manatee zombie. Part of me just wants to fire another blast in the bush and get. How many You're do gonna you kill have? like a puppy or something. Jason, how many of those do you have? It's a cantrip. Oh shoot! Right, so you just have. I can fire them off all day. Mm -hmm. That's uh -huh. why I've been firing them off so much. Yeah. Yankee <laughs> Mitchell. Basically. I need to use a lay on. <laughs> well, you need a oh, you bastard! Um, I'm gonna move my laptop back to my game room because Good. our company is now longer here. Good. So I may speak freely. Okay. Yeah, you don't want to talk about tridents and manatees and fighting monkeys. <laughs> fighting monkeys. So you described the creature in the bush as a monkey initially, until you told us what it actually was. Wait, was that a full rest or a short rest for horse? Um, he's still sleeping. Give me a second. 
Yeah, we're still sleeping. Good luck. Try talking back to it. Probably will. Go. Oh. oh. She didn't make it through the movie? Classic. So, so yeah, yeah that's, that's kind of the viewpoint that you have right now. So there's an N, three tall towers, um, 
and a giant lake. Okay. Um, you enter, and this place looks like way more lively than you would expect. Some sort of an in, in like the middle of nowhere. Like there's like a pretty like genuinely large amount of people in here. Um, and um, a woman, woman greets you as you enter. enter. Um, as you three enter, and she goes, "Oh, hello! Uh, welcome, uh, welcome to the." Uh, the Towers of the Magi Inn. Uh, we, we are, are the, the current monthly olive garden of Foon. Um, can, can I can I give you some help with something? Yes, I do. What would, would you like to know about? Um, you, you could, could call, call it a school. school. It's, it's kind of where, um, any sort of magicians have to go, um, whenever there's found some sort of magical property in them. Uh, it's where they have to go to train in order for them to use magic in the, uh, the universe. So, like wizards and sorcerers, is, this is, this is where they have... Did, Did I, I just lose her accent? accent? I don't, I don't even know, know what her accent, accent was. <laughs> <laughs> this is where they must go to... <laughs> this is her voice. This is where they must go <laughs> to, <laughs> to train if they are wizard or sorcerer. They must train here and be taught the ways of the magic. Otherwise, they will be cast from this land as betrayers. Um, maybe to lands of Heladuth. Which, which is, is not, not a nice, nice place at all. Um, I yes, guess it is how to do it, though. Whatever that means. Just kidding, I know what that means. That means super lame. Because hello do is super lame. That's, that's, that's where the word hello do came from. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> there are three towers. <laughs> Each exemplifying the level of experience. <laughs> there is one tower known as the Apprentice Tower, where the apprentices go. There is one tower where the Arch Enchanters go. When that tower doesn't have a name, the third tower known as the Septum Tower is where the Septums go. Or well, it's, I guess you could say it's where the graduates of the Arch Enchanters go in order to become septums. Could I get you a table? We are serving pasta as the monthly Olive Gardens are required to do. Ooh, a valued VIP member. Anyways, let, let me, me take, take you, you to a, a table. table. We're, We're pretty full in here, so you'll, you'll have, have to sit down with someone else. I hope you don't mind. Okay, excellent. Um, and she walks you over um, to this round table in like the corner of the room. That looks like it has like your like generic wizard sitting at the table. He has like a long gray beard and some white robes um, and a staff. And it looks like he has, like, a beer in front of him. And she goes, this is where you will be sitting for now. Uh, I hope you don't mind it. Uh, I will be over in just a bit to take your orders. You can get drinks at the bar if you so wish. <laughs> and she looks a little upset and leaves. <laughs> Hello there! What, what is your name? He looks over at Jason Morris before answering him. Yeah. What, what are your names? names? Take a seat, take a seat. Welcome to the Towers of Magi Inn. My name is Fatoon, dweller of the Library of, of Omnicus. 
Champion of the Mage's Guild, manipulator of light and shadow, devourer and persuader of all things evil, destroyer of the Great One of Fire. The elves know me as Zupintitis, the dragons know me as Rakor, and the vampires know me as Daywalker Lit Litigard. And there are many other names that you do not yet know, that if you were so to as here, it would light your face on fire. All of it! Find something, yes. I I am known as a valuable finder. It is not my specialty, but I am valuable. Because they say one finder is better than zero finders. What do you mean? What are you confused by? What did you say? Two finders are better than, than one? Okay. A demon. Yes. Yes. May I see this? You're, you're, you're just holding it? You just sat down holding it? <laughs> May I see this dagger? May I hold it? Thank you. He grabs it. And he goes, I will cast a spell to find the true source of this demon. Now please, be quiet as I cast a spell. No one ever listens to me. I always told my mom that I need free bagels, but she never got me any. My god, mom, leave me alone. Why does no one ever listen to me? It's a penny! I don't know. I don't know who owns this dagger. I'm sorry, I tried my best. But may I offer you a quest? Because you look like you are very well armed and just so happened it would be fate that you showed up here. You are destined for great things and great adventures. And I can give you something, some, a need in this world, if you would call it. A necessity, unless you would like to see this world destroyed. In the north, far more north than any man has ever traveled. Excluding one man that lives a man known as the Dark One that we must defeat. We must band together to defeat him. Twelve good, strong men, women, dwarves, elves. We can band together to defeat him. Join in my cause. Damn it. <sighs> what is There are evil artifacts up there. So evil that if you were to merely grasp, grasp them, the Dark Lord would know exactly where you are and what you ate that morning. Yes, join me on my quest, and we may seek out these artifacts and use them against the Dark One who so created them. What is your quest? You sound, you sound all very lost. <laughs> Excellent idea. We will need 12 strong adventurers. Let me proposition you an idea then. Every week we shall meet at the monthly Olive Garden and we will interview strong heroes, strong adventurers, strong travelers from across the world of food. You may help me decide if they are noble, if they are worthy, if they are strong enough to partake on this quest to destroy the Dark One. Excellent. What about you two? Okay, a plan in motion. I shall find people and I shall summon them. Yeah, and you shall help me. You shall me talk to them and you shall help I don't want to be in love with 
Uh, uh, sorry, sorry. You, you, you may, may take, take it back. back. Here, Here you go. go. Yes. <clears throat> Can, Can I get, I get you, you a drink? drink? I'm gonna I'm go, go get, get a drink. drink. What, what do you want? want? The blue what? And you too? What do you want? Okay. Oh, I, I love, love those. those. I'm, I'm going to get, get a rainbow, rainbow bowl. bowl. And he walks, walks over, over to the bar. Do you three, three want to talk, talk privately? Or? <laughs> he comes back with drinks, hands up to you too, and he goes, So, you guys have a very good of me, right? That's why you came here to talk to me. That's why someone was like, Oh, for tune, that guy's awesome. Go talk to him. Oh, seriously? Oh. Oh, I hate demons. <laughs> Is there anything I can do to help you fight this demon? He is most likely in the... <laughs> the ethereal plane. Where all things magical come from. All things mystical and powerful and... and Evil and good. No, no, I cannot summon a portal there. One can only go. go. I, I am powerful. powerful. I'm the most powerful wizard in the world. I can't make a portal if I wanted to. Not to the ethereal plane, though. I don't know. Where do you want to go? I'll tell you if I can or not. <laughs> Listen, if I were to list off every place. I can, I can make, make a portal, portal to you. You wouldn't get, get bored. bored. Oh, you, you want to? You want a portal, portal to dragons? Now, just so you guys know, a portal goes both ways. So if I open up a portal to where dragons are, you could definitely bring a dragon here. Well, I don't know where a baby dragon is at this exact moment. I'm, I'm the most powerful wizard in the world, but I'm not all seen. Okay. Um. Uh. Strong guard. Uh. Hartland, Kaladin, you want to go to Kaladin, uh, the Emperor's City, uh, uh, Tarks, do, do I, do I need, do you need, the, do you need me to name more? What do you need to go there for? Okay, in order to make this portal, I will need certain regions first. I will need the fact of a pig and a lamb so that we may sacrifice its soul. Alive, besides the fact, the fact must be dead. Find me these regions and I will open up a portal. No, no, I will summon, summon people. I will summon. Nine weeks, <laughs> no, no, you, you don't, don't. You don't understand. understand. I, will I will be summoning, summoning people. people. We, we just, we just discussed the plan. plan. Why, Why do you want to change it all of a sudden? Yeah. The, the drinks are amazing here. We're at the Olive Garden. The, the monthly best end. end. No, there's not. There's only one Olive Garden per month. Don't you know that? 
it's, it's the, the first, first of, of the month. month. Olive Garden just changed. It won't be there for another month. month. Sorry, sweetie, what's up? Oh, uh, for, for Toon. For Toon the Blue. blue. He's a, a powerful wizard. wizard. Yes. The, the, the land, land I'm from, from no, no no him as Zubin. Zubin. Yes. I'm I'm, I'm an elf. elf. So, so. Well I mean I, I don't know that, that much about him, but from what I've heard he's uh, he used to he used, used to be the a dweller at the library of Omnicus. Um, he was named uh, Wizard's, Wizard's Choice Award. Award. Um, he, he destroyed a great wall of fire. Um, I don't, I don't know. know. You'll have, have to ask, ask him about, about other great things he's done. done. His, His old name? name? Sorry. Uh, uh, we, uh, uh, the elves. The elven civilization, civilization I am from know him as Zupin. Zupin Tetes. No. What? Fratoon the Blue. Fratoon, yes. Fratoon. Why? You're weird. weird. Okay. Of, of course, course I've had a smoking purple, purple drink. drink. You, you can. can. You, you just, just need, need the regions. regions. You need the fat. You, you need the, the fat, fat of a pig. And the soul of a lamb. lamb. Uh, well, well, you would have, have to go, go onto, onto a farm, farm and either buy a pig and a lamb, lamb or steal them. I hear there's a farm north of here owned by some sort of man named Dan or something of that sort. Right, right fast, fast and right quick, quick for the, the, the city of the Emperor, Emperor will, will soon close its gates. I can't. It requires different regions. I need the soul of a child. <laughs> well, there's a child right over there. You want, you want to, to buy, buy my child? child? No. No, you, you can't, can't buy, buy my child. He's mine. <laughs> he looks, looks like, like his child. His child sets a tear up. He's, He's like, like, no price. That's my. It's, it's my, my kid. kid. <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen, you dicks. It's, it's my, my kid. kid. I, 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 I bet you guys, guys are like. Happy killers or something. Right <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? So, so puppy killing isn't, isn't okay, but, but you know, killing, killing a child is. A child, what? That's, That's a hard argument, argument to make. make. <laughs> the bear goes, I don't know what to believe of this. That doesn't. That sounds very not right. You seem very sketchy. Oh, a pasta pass? Hell yeah, give me that shit. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's very easy. I'm just kidding. No, you can't have my child. You'll have. To... He stands up now. You will, you'll have to go through me. And the, the fat, fat of the pig. pig. 
I'm, I'm sorry, sorry okay? okay? I didn't, I didn't, I didn't mean, mean that. that. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. Listen, you, you don't, don't have, have to raise your, your voice. voice. Okay. okay. Nice. <laughs> there, there he goes. goes. He's, He's leaving, leaving now. now. <laughs> well, you're, you're still, still here. here. <laughs> I, don't I don't know if you're actually saying it or not. <laughs> Do you, you want, want me to, to teleport, teleport you out of here or something, something to some some place? place? Yes, yes, with the soul of a child. We've already, already been over this. this. What? what? No, no, the inside of the Emperor inside of the Emperor City is a soul of a lamb, the fat of a pig. By horseback? Oh, Easily, like, like, like two, two hours, hours at, at the most. most. Oh, oh, it's, it's about, about three months. months. Yeah, more speak, yes. yes. No, no man has, has ever stepped, stepped foot inside it. So that's, that's what, what they, they say. say. I, I got, got to meet him one time. He gave me the creeps. creeps. Yes, yes, he is no mortal. mortal. He, he is the only creature, the only thing, the only being on this planet that, that could stand up to the dark. But, but he has chosen, chosen not to. Why, I, I do not know. know. I, I, I tried to ask him. He told me he was too busy. busy. I... What do you mean I did not try enough, hard enough? enough. Listen, Listen, I was I was created on this planet, on this world of food, with, with only one purpose, with only one intent, it is to slay and destroy and stop the invasion of the Dark One. How, How dare you so much as assume that I did not try enough? I have lived on this planet for 300 years! The Dark One? He lives far north, past, past the cities. You can't! We need 12! 12, 12 strong men, women, dwarves, elves, and creatures! No, trust me, we, we could not stand up to him right now. He is way too, way too strong. No. The Emperor cities to the east. Yes. The mountain, mountain of 100, 100, I don't know what it's called. The, the Lunar Blade, Blade. Dungeon. Uh, it's, it's not, not that, that far. far, it's like, it's like two and a half hours. By horseback. Horse the Lunar Blade. Blade. You've, You've heard, heard of the Lunar Blade? Blade? Ah, yes, yes, the Lunar Blade. A sword, sword so powerful. powerful. It, it could... could Turn the, the the day to night, night and the night to day, day and with, with its with the, the rear swing of its blade. And it's so, so strong you can cut a giant in half. I'm not, not sure. sure. Maybe. Where well, you, you can find, find a child, child and there's like. like there's a farm, a farm here. here. You, you could, could go, go to Dan's farm. farm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just, just his first, first four died. Die. <laughs> uh, I mean, I don't, I don't know, know where you could find a kid. kid. Maybe, maybe, maybe the, 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 the towers, towers of the Magi would have, have one, or um, if, if you went, went, if you, you hid in a bush near a trail. Maybe you could, could jump, jump out at some, some innocent, innocent by innocent <laughs> walk. <laughs> Maybe you could, could jump, jump out at them and kill them and take their bonics.
Um, um, as you guys, guys are talking, talking um, um, uh, something, something comes, comes into the tavern, a creature, that, that actually, you have a roll of perception. Yeah. yeah. Roll your perception, though. Oh. Uh, your passive is stuff where it's like, if you did something and you aren't like intentionally paying attention, you know? Um, yeah. So I guess with the Master's High Roll, you all notice a creature coming in that you very easily remember from last night. The bugbear comes in. Who, oh, me? What? I wanted to kill him! Because I wanted his belongings! Yes, he is! I hate that guy! I don't know him, but he's a... I mean... He's a bugbear, I fucking hate bugbears! Weren't you, you guys, guys just, just talking, talking about, about being penance? penance? Okay. I just, I just said that's what you would need in order to teleport to Dan's farm. farm. Every, every every wizard, wizard knows that. Listen, Listen, what, what, that that bear, bear, what, what did that, that bugbear bear do to you? you? Oh, they're, they're always, always known for that. And that too. too. I had, had a bugbear bear once as a, as a mate. mate. Yeah. yeah. Creepy, right? I was into it. it. Just like, get up in the middle of the conversation, just leave. <laughs> the the bugbear bear kind of moves to the side for you as you leave. <laughs> Wait, where's. Okay, well, I'll just hang out here. Uh, you guys. I'll, I'll have someone for you guys to interview next time you're around. In the meantime, there's something I want you to have. For you two to have. Don't, Don't tell Horus, but I want you two to have it. And he holds out two rocks. These are magical, powerful rocks. They are able to do your, to perform your deepest desires. In your moment of need, use them. No, not, not menial pass. Like, if you're fighting, I don't know, anything, it'll come out and assist you if you use it. No, it won't be. Why would I put myself inside a rock? That your friend. <laughs> okay. Okay, thanks. Well, uh, I should catch up with them. Yeah, yeah, what's, what's up? up? Okay, okay, cool, thanks. thanks. Okay, but... God, I hate my bears. Um, okay, yeah, you guys head on out. out. Um, and outside of this inn, there's, there's like, like a port there, like, like a wooden port, which is like a little rowboat at the end of it, with a man there. Hello there. Yes. How, How many? many? Okay, it will be a gold piece each. I carry a hefty price because I'm a monopoly on the service, as you might understand. Thank you. Thank you, madam. And you, sir? Yes, what? 
Is that a dream horse? What'd you say? Oh, thank you. Sure. You, you get, get some more the the bow. bow. Begins the round. Round the lake. The, the name's Minkowski. Fisherman Minkowski, by the way. All my life, my my father, my father used to have business. business. And, and the father, father before him, but not before him. Before, before him, him, he was a fisherman. That's, that's why they call me the fisherman Mikowski, even though I don't fish. Because I'm the only one that can. Yeah, I have a, I have a permit. I have a patent on it. I agree. I, I know a lot about him. What do you want to know? No. You don't have to pay anything. Except sometimes your life. Yep. I warn you. Don't stay long there in the towers. They say the longer you stay there, the more. Insane, the more vulnerable you become. What about demons? demons? Oh, oh, yes, they can locate demons, demons. they can locate trees, they can locate people if they have their blood. Sure, they can locate a dragon if it, if it had its blood. They could really locate anything. That's one of their powers in the, the Towers of the Magic. Now, I warn you once again, do not stay long. For every five that I've brought to the Tower of Magic, I've only brought one back. Alive. I mean, yeah, what else would I do with them? They do not. What business do you have in the circle? Oh. You have control of a soul? I mean, I, mean, I wouldn't really call it control of the soul. Who the demon? It's difficult to kill a demon, you know. They say every time a demon dies, they come back. I would recommend you to instead enslave the demon or capture it in some sort of thing, some sort of thing, I don't know. Yes, there are these powerful amulets they use that can be used to suck up demons. 
to their own. A forbidden library. I mean, everything's forbidden in there. You aren't a, a magic user. I mean, you're a player. I mean, what are they, what are they called? I'm a fisherman. Fisherman and Cassidy. <laughs> okay, thank you. Where we we only call it magic if it's some sort of wizardry or sorceress. No, we would only call warlocks magic play. It's only considered magic if it's from the ethereal thing, the source of the magic. What do you mean? There's Everything doesn't, doesn't have to do with the ethereal plane that's just, just a, a source of magic and nothing's dead, dead and, and demons. demons. No, because it's from, from, from your, your god. god. It's not it's magical. magical. It's, it's religious. You know, you know it's, it's a miracle. miracle. It's not really magic. Same, Same thing for warlocks. It's kind of like... Use your powers from a, a demon or some sort of old, some sort of uh, fae or something of the sort. But it's not magical. It's not. It's not from a realm. It's from a being. I'm not, what? what? How, How did, did you, you even get, get to that? that? How, How did, did you, you even come, come to that conclusion? <laughs> I'm just telling you, you, you get, get your powers from from, from, from your, your whatever you worship. worship. Right, they, they get, get it from, from the ethereal plane. plane. The ethereal plane is just this huge source of magic. magic. So, so they... They, they sort, sort of open up a portal, portal to the ethereal plane, plane and they use it as a, a channel, channel of a magical property. Yes, yeah, and sometimes, sometimes, sometimes the demons, demons will come through the portal and, and take, take over the magi. That's, that's why, that's why, that's why we, we created the towers of magi. magi. Because, because it's, it's very, it's a very, very dangerous thing to do compared to, you know, worshiping an old one or a god, which isn't that big of a deal. I mean, it's cool what you're doing. I'm just saying, like, it doesn't that doesn't run the same risk. Okay. I don't think you've done that. I mean, you haven't, though. Hmm. Counts what? Well. No, no, we've, we've already, already been over this. this. I guess it would depend. Are you using your, your power from the ethereal plane or from your god? I guess you just meditate. Um, yeah, a dragon attacked last month. It was crazy. A blue dragon. No, the mage just blew him up. Could even stand a chance. Yeah. Card sized pieces of, of dragon chunks everywhere. They all fell into this water here and killed all the fish because he was electric. And then it shimmered for a couple days. 
Yep. yep. They, they say, say that the lake, lake has been magical ever since. And they, they say creatures now walk out of it at night, looking for people to eat and children to take. Okay. You feel water. No, you feel water. Yeah, it's like mid-afternoon. Nope. I have not. Sort of. So I've heard. The, uh... The worshippers of uh, Funia will, will question you to determine you are, if you are worthy of, of entering this, the Towers of the Magi. After which you will be decided on whether or not you may enter, or if you will be sent to Ex Exudia. Yeah. Uh, it's, uh, it's like, like a, a giant, giant prison. prison. And, and then North East. I doubt that. Because it's, it's a, a bad, bad place. place. Yep. yep. Oh, what, what if we, we should just... just... Here. here. Not sure, Okay. We will enter a boys, girl, boy and girl. <laughs> Find out, out what lies inside, inside of the towers and on its adventure. Let me know what y'all think. Not much, much happened, happened in this in this go. We will see the effects of it in the near future. Oh yes. <laughs> I wish it would have let us know a little bit sooner than three minutes before the before the dungeon. Alas!